Hey, this is Christine. I'm going to show you guys how quickly I can set up a WordPress account. There's been a lot of questions regarding this, so I figured um, I have to set up mine for our homework too, so I'll do that right now. Um, a lot of you guys have questions regarding servers and what type of WordPress. Real quick, um, WordPress org is one that you pay for. WordPress.com is one that's free. The difference between the two pretty much is you're going to have more capability with the .org, the one that you pay for, as far as um, search engine optimization and getting more visitors and more flexibility in designing your site than you are with the free version. Um, in order to get the paid version, pretty much all you have to do is find someone to host your website. And that's where I think a lot of you guys are asking about which server um, service you should sign up for. I use bluehost.com uh, um, mainly because with this website I can un uh, use unlimited amount of websites to host and I just pay for one. So I paid the six dollars per month and I think I'm hosting like 12 sites right now. So pretty much um, either sign up for an account or log into an account in order to run the .org, so the paid version of WordPress, you're going to have to install like some extra software onto the server that you're using. Um, pretty much there's a link, they have a lot of help videos here um, that are going to help you. I guess first you have to buy a domain name and then you have to set up the um, application to use WordPress. So get a domain name at the bottom. Um, the next thing you'll need to install is simple scripts and then WordPress under software and services. And like I said, I'll post the link to the help for you guys to take a look at that if you need to. Um, for me, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to set up my stuff and I just have to go to WordPress and that's going to take me to all of the items that I have, all the websites I'm hosting already. Keep in mind this 3.1 is the version of WordPress. Um, that's what I install so I can track people um, that are on my website and I can get feedback. Um, when I tried to upload the newer version of WordPress, it messed up all my stats so I couldn't keep up with how many people are logging in and viewing my blogs and my website. So pretty much just go down to the bottom, click install, Um, this is what they suggest, that 3.3. I'm going to go back up to just 3.1. You guys do whatever you'd like, um, but that's the one I would recommend. Uh, Surf's Up Social is the website that I'm setting up. Um, it's social media and website help. Um, here are some options that you have regarding your blog name. And you can always change this later in the settings of WordPress. Um, and let's see, I don't know what these plugins and themes are. I'm not choosing that stuff. I've read this stuff. Terms and agreements, you guys might want to review that. And pretty much it's processing. So here, this is all that I have right now. This is my login information. I'm just going to copy that. If I want to log into my website, I go there. Here is the, let's open this in a new tab. This is what my website's going to look like because I haven't set anything up. It's going to be a standard WordPress website. So this is what your website looks like. To log in, like I said, you just go ahead and you click on that's uh, link there. You're going to put in your admin as your username and I'm just going to paste in that um, password that it automatically generated for me. And this is going to give me pretty much the control panel to my website. This is going to give me all of the stuff, all of the pages that you see here. Uh, sample page and home, all these things on the side here. Those are all things that are completely edited. So I'll work on some more videos just to show you some of the stuff I do as I'm setting up this website. So I hope, hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments for me so I can get back to you. Thanks.